Bounce rate is an important metric to understand if you are doing any type of digital marketing and definitely if you are doing conversion rate optimization. In this video, I'm going to help you understand what is bounce rate, how is it different from exit rate, how do we actually calculate bounce rate, how do we find and look at bounce rate in Google Analytics Universal and Google Analytics 4, when should you ignore bounce rate altogether, and what should you be concerned when the page has a high bounce rate. Hello everyone, this is Khaled with Invesp. This channel is all about helping you improve your site conversion rate and make more money online. We do that by sharing the best strategies, tips, and techniques on how to do so. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe so you can get the latest updates. And if you like this video, please like and comment. Let's jump right in. So what is bounce rate? Bounce rate is the percentage of sessions that enter the site from an external source and leave the site right away without navigating to a second page. So what does that mean? It is the percentage of sessions that come from an external source, from Google, from email, from social, from a paid campaign, direct traffic. They enter the site at your landing page and then they leave the site right away. They don't navigate to a second page on the website. This is a little different from exit rate. Exit rate is the number of visitors who visit the page. So they could be coming from an external source or they could be coming from another page on the website. And then they come to this page, they view it, and then they say, you know what, I want to leave. So they go ahead and leave. So if you think about it, exit rate actually includes bounce rate. So let's take an example. Let's say we have a website with three pages, pages A, B, and C in it. Let's take a look at the page views that these pages get. And to simplify our lives, let's assume that the site gets one session per day. So on Monday, the site gets one session where the visitor lands on page A, then goes to page B, page C, and exits the site at this point. What is page A bounce rate in this case? It is zero because the visitor entered the site on page A, but he decided or she decided to continue navigating through the website. What is page A exit rate? And in this case, it's also zero because that visitor, that single session did not exit the website. Let's take a look at page B. In our example, page B is not a landing page. So bounce rate for it again is zero. How about the exit rate for page B. Well, that single session that visited page A, B, and C did not exit the website from page B. So again, the exit rate is zero. Let's take a look at page C. In this case, page C was also not an entrance going to the website. So the bounce rate again is zero. However, page C had a single session coming from another page on the website and that session exited the website from page C. So the exit rate in this case is 100%. Let's continue with our example. And let's say we have another session on Tuesday. And in this session, the visitor landed on page B and then went to page A and then went to page C and exited the website. And finally, another session comes in on Wednesday where the visitor visited page A and then exited the website. So what is the bounce rate for the different pages on the website? Notice that page A had two entrances on Monday and on Wednesday. So there are two sessions that entered and only the visits on Wednesday resulted in a bounce. So the bounce rate in this case is one divided by two or 50. How about page B? What is the bounce rate for page B? We had a single entrance to page B that happened on Tuesday. And in that case, the visitor decided to continue navigating through the website. So the bounce rate for page B continues to be zero. How about the exit rate for page B? Well, in this case, in our example, no visitor exited the site from page B. So the exit rate is zero. How about the exit rate for page C? If you notice, page C got two page views and in both cases, the visitor decided to leave the website after viewing page C. So two page views and two exits, which gives us an exit rate of 100%. Now let's jump into Google Analytics and take a look on how to see bounce rate for different pages on our website. I'm going to show you how to pull bounce rate in Google Analytics Universal and in Google Analytics 4. So let's see how we view our top landing pages reports in Google Analytics Universal. And then we'll jump into Google Analytics 4 and view the same reports. So this is the main dashboard when you log into your Google Analytics Universal. And from here, you want to click on behavior, site content, 
that will open up multiple reports. And we'll look at the landing pages reports. You click on that and here are your top landing pages. So these are the pages when somebody is coming from an external source, they're coming from Google, they're coming from email, they're coming from social. Here are the pages that they land on. So our forward slash home gets 8,311 sessions. These are the people who are landing from an external source. If you look to the right, you will see the bounce rate for each one of those pages. So our forward slash home got 8,311 sessions. And of those, 52.22% bounced off the site right away. They left the site right away without ever navigating to a second page. This top column at the very top of the bounce rate shows you the average bounce rate for all the pages on the website. So you recognize that the average bounce rate for the site is 47.47%. .47 percent. This is an important metric. Let's keep it in mind. And what I do is I start comparing the bounce rate for an individual page to the average site bounce rate. So our top landing page over here has a 52% compared to the site average of 47%. That is about 10% higher within the acceptable range. But if you scroll down, our second most visited landing page, where people are coming from an external source, has a bounce rate of 59.95%. It's almost 25% higher bounce rate than the site average. So this is a page that I'm going to pay close attention to. If I scroll down even further, this page has a 35% lower bounce rate. So it's almost 20% lower compared to the site average. So you want to ask yourself, what is happening on this page compared to this page? Why are the majority of the visitors, almost 60% of them are leaving here versus only 35% of the visitors are leaving over here? What is the difference between those two pages? What can I learn from this particular page that I can implement on this page that has a higher bounce rate to improve my site conversion rate? Let's look through some of those other bounce rates. Notice this page has a 15.69% bounce rate. That is exciting. That is a low bounce rate until you look at the page in particular. So this is our sign in.html. Somebody coming in from an external source, but they're coming in particular to sign into their account. Well, most people who are coming to sign in wouldn't actually bounce off the site they are actually at the right page. So you do expect that page to have a lower bounce rate. You can also sort this column. So you look at the pages with the highest bounce rates. So these pages have 100% bounce rate. Is there a problem with those pages? Well, let's look at the number of sessions that these pages are getting. Well, they're only getting a one session. So I wouldn't pay any attention to these pages and vice versa. If we sort this column and we notice that there are some pages with a 0% bounce rate, I wouldn't get too excited because again, these pages are actually getting very low traffic, one session, one session, five sessions, so low. So I wouldn't pay attention to those pages. There's a lot more that we can do with this report. If you are interested in how we customize this report even further, do leave a comment and I can record a separate video about this. So how do I deal with this report? I first sort by sessions. So I want to look at the pages, the top landing pages with the most sessions. Then I want to look at those pages that have higher bounce rate. Let's see how we do this in Google Analytics 4. So here is my GA4 account. And from here, you want to click on reports. And under reports, you have several options. So you want to go to engagement. There are two ways that you can find your top landing pages. You can look at the pages and screens to view bounce rates, or you can add the landing page report. By default, Google Analytics 4 doesn't have it. Let's start by looking at the pages and screens reports. And as you see over here, it shows you all the different pages on the site. Now notice, while in Google Analytics Universal, we were looking at sessions. Now we are looking at users. If you're interested in learning the difference between users and sessions and how Google Analytics 4 is different from Google Analytics Universal, please leave a comment, uh, read those comments, respond to them. And there's enough demand. I will go ahead and record a video about this. Out of the box, if you notice, there is no bounce rate for these pages. In order for us to view the bounce rate, what we need to do is customize this report, but you need to have edit rights to the account or to the view in order for you to be able to do that. In this particular account, I don't have edit rights. I have another account that I can play with. So let's jump into that one. Okay. So here's our other account. Now this account doesn't have any data in it, but you can still see how we can customize this report. I want you to notice two things. First, I've added landing pages 
report and I also have my pages and screens so I can click on pages and screens I can click on edit over here and I can add a metric so I can just add bounce rate and I can click on apply and that will add the bounce rate column to this particular view I'm going to save it I can do the same thing with the landing page report so I can click on landing page the edits button and again because bounce rate is not there click on metrics search for bounce rate here it is click on apply and my bounce rate column is going to appear over here and I can just click on save to the current report you can save it as a different report but for me I want to save those edits to this existing report click on save and this way you'll be able to view your top landing pages report with their bounce rate in Google Analytics 4. So bounce rate could be a concerning metric if you notice that some pages on your website have a high bounce rate. However, you need to look at the bounce rate within the context of the data. If some of your pages are getting very low page views and those page views result in a bounce where somebody leaves the site right away, well, it might not matter a whole lot. If a page is only getting one or five page views and those page views result with somebody exiting the website, bouncing off the website, yes, you will have a high bounce rate, but because we already have so little page views, we we'll probably ignore those pages altogether. So at what point should I be concerned if my bounce rate is really high? How many page views should I consider to say, you know what, we have a problem over here. This will vary from one website to the next. With some websites, you might look at pages with high bounce rate if they only get more than a thousand page views. With the other website, you will only look at pages with high bounce rate if they get more than 10,000 page views you need to look at your site traffic and decide what is the ideal number of page views in order for you to evaluate the page bounce rates so what is a high bounce rate this again will vary from one website to the next and from one page within the same website to the next on some pages a high bounce rate could be anything above 30 percent on other pages a high bounce rate could be anything higher than 50 percent so it will vary think about the page think about visitors coming to this page and what do you expect what percentage of the visitors do you expect to stay on the website versus what percentage of the visitors do you say yeah we understand that they want to leave the website from this page after entering from an external source a high bounce rate typically indicates one of three problems on the landing page number one is the quality of traffic that is coming to the particular landing page if you are sending traffic from an external source to a particular page on your website and that traffic is not high quality traffic, then you expect a high percentage of those visitors to say, you know what, this is not the right page for me and they end up leaving the website. We typically see this problem with traffic coming from social media campaigns where visitors are already spending time on Facebook or Instagram and they see an ad, they click on the ad, but remember their mindset is not necessarily thinking about buying anything or filling out a lead generation form. So they land on the landing page, they look around and they say, you know what, this is not good and they end up leaving your landing page. The same problem exists if you are using Google Ads to drive traffic to your landing pages. Those ads are not tight enough. They're not focused enough. So they are sending the wrong type of visitors to your landing page. And as a result, when those visitors land on your landing page, they end up deciding to leave without visiting a second page on the website. So if you notice that one of your landing pages has a high bounce rate, one of the first things that you want to do is you want to break down the numbers of visitors coming from different traffic sources to evaluate the quality of these different campaigns and see if there's anything you can do to fine tune the quality of these campaigns. Number two is trust signals. Remember, if somebody does not trust you, they're not going to interact with you. You need to use different trust signals to tell people that, hey, you are in the right place. Yes, you can trust us. And there's different ways that you can play with trust signals to see which which one resonates better with your visitors. Social proof is a great way to convince people that you are a trustworthy site or a trustworthy business. The number of reviews that you have, the number of customers that have interacted with you and purchased from you, how long you've been in business, any media mentions, any influencers who mentioned your brand. Those are all different ways to send trust signals to visitors landing on your landing pages. And usually they are a good way to 
test to see if you can reduce the bounce rate of a particular landing page. The third problem that we evaluate is messaging. Remember, a high bounce rate tells you that people are not finding what they are looking for on your particular landing page. So maybe I am looking at a Google ad, maybe I'm looking at a social media post. There is a promise that external source is making about the landing page. And then when the visitor lands on the landing page, you want to deliver that promise. You want to have that concept of continuity. You also want to look at the concept of congruency. Every element on the page should always speak to the same message, telling people, yes, we are fulfilling the promise. Yes, here is what we promised you. Yes, here is why you should do business with us. If you want to see examples of how we fix issues around quality of traffic, messaging, and trust, leave a comment below and we will record a video around this. So to wrap things up, bounce rate is a very important metric on landing pages. We usually look at landing pages that have a high percentage of visitors coming from an external source to the particular landing page. And we look at those pages that have a higher bounce rate. Again, it varies from one page to the next. The first thing that we evaluate is the quality of traffic. Second, we evaluate the trust signals. And finally, we look at the messaging that the page sends. If you like this video, please make sure to comment. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe as well. Well, until next time, happy testing.